Welcome back to Speak Wine to Me. Today I'm going to talk about a Chilean red blend that I picked up the other day. I was out and about looking for something interesting and different and also something uh, with which I could improve both my palate and my knowledge and decided to explore the southern hemisphere a bit. So this is a Chilean red blend that comes from the Zonin family of Italian winemakers who have ventured away from Italy and tried their hand at making a Chilean blend. Uh, this particular wine is called Dos Almos and it is based on the classic Bordeaux varieties. So that's uh, Italy, Chile, and France. Uh, so I think this is going to be an interesting one. The grapes are 50% Chardonnay, excuse me, 50% Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, so I am anticipating that there's going to be a nice structure overall, as well as some hearty tannins. Um, it is 30% Carmenere, which is interesting because usually Merlot is second chair to Cabernet Sauvignon when it comes to Bordeaux blends, but this time Carmenere shows up, and that is nice because Carmenere is known for its spiciness. Um, the rest of the blend is composed of 13% Syrah, also known for its spiciness, although I would say Syrah is a little bit more baking spices, like uh, star anise, um, licorice, uh, as well as uh, red berries, excuse me, blackberries and red berries. And uh, more of uh, uh, high acid wine. So I think we're going to get that from the Syrah as well. The Carmenere, going back to that for a second, tends to be more of a smoky spice, but don't quote me on that because a lot depends on the particular style of winemaking that's used in the final product. Uh, the last little bit of this wine is Petit Verdot. 7% poor little Petit Verdot uh, that used to be a major player in Bordeaux but no more because of its general fussiness um, and difficulty managing in that particular climate. But it does offer tannin, again, and deep color. So um, it has a role in this bottle. The soil type for this particular production is granite. So I'm expecting something with muscle, uh, something potentially with age worthiness and uh, loam which is always nice because loam has the ability to provide just the right amount of water for the vine. It uh, has a good uh, drainage and uh, water retention balance. So that's nice. Uh, let's open it up and try it. So I'm not the best at this, but I managed to get in it somehow. It may not always be pretty, but I do manage to get in. This wine has uh, comes with a full-scale production video. If you're curious on the Zona website, it's probably about oh, a minute and a half long, just under a minute and a half and it tells the story of Italian winemakers exploring the southern hemisphere and lots of jazz and pizzazz that uh, go into explaining the look behind the label. All right. So I'm already seeing that color I was anticipating. This is, oh, that's a ruby, it's a deep ruby, but it's, but it's got a little bit of purple in it. I think that's coming from the Syrah. Uh, I'll let some of those bubbles go down. Let's, let's give it a, oh my goodness, that's so nice. So there's some, some ripe, black fruit, if I'm going to start with the primary aromas, but leading the way for sure are all of those other uh, characteristics from those grapes I was talking about earlier, so the spice, 
Mm. There's some, some chocolatey espresso-ness to it. A little smokiness. Definitely some oak. In fact, um, I recall from the profile that this particular wine spent some time all around in 70% uh, oak, half French, half American, and 30% in stainless steel. Uh, the grapes were kept separate and only brought together for the final blend. Um, let's give it a taste. luscious. Not luscious sweet, but just very um, round and mouth filling. It covers the whole palate nicely. Let's do it again. <laughs> Held up by a nice acidity and uh, a pleasing finish, a pleasing spicy finish. So this particular wine, I would say, give me a grilled kielbasa. Hold the sauerkraut, please, and toast the bun on both sides. Uh, beef stew, of course, would work perfectly with this. Um, some Indian food, medium to mild spice, but Indian food would be great. A little bit of Thai street food, and on and on and on, and I'll see you next time.